A contentious day in a Guadalupe County courtroom. Lake property owners are asking a judge to force the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority to hand over documents they say should have been released a month ago. But the GBRA says they've already done that. Eyewitness News reporter Vanessa Croy has more on what led to a decision from the judge. Today, property owners along the Guadalupe Valley Lakes continued to make waves. This time in the courtroom. This as the saga continues over whether the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority should be held responsible for fixing the aging dams. Attorneys for the plaintiffs asking a judge to force the GBRA to hand over documents before they can move forward with the discovery phase of the lawsuit. Documents they say should have been handed over months ago. When you have a catastrophic loss like that, you can imagine what the engineers, what the officers, what the directors are all saying to each other. They got to be scattering at that time to find out what went wrong. Did we do something wrong? They're accusing the GBRA of putting a muzzle on the plaintiffs to shut them down. But new legal counsel for the GBRA said they've already complied. Uh, we've produced over almost 60,000 pages of documents. Everything that we have located about the dams, we've said it. Uh, repeatedly that that's that's what the subject matter of this lawsuit's about and we've produced it. They're accusing the attorney for the plaintiffs of appointing himself the deputy charged with policing the GBRA. But some property owners said that's their right. Our taxpayers pay their salary. They're a state agency. They're nonprofit. Um, and we pay it. We pay for that. We can police it if we want to. Wendy Salazar could lose hundreds of thousands of dollars if the dams aren't replaced. Since we made a good investment that was backed up by the state of Texas to keep that property we bought and that water that we paid for as it is. And they failed to do that. So yeah, it's personal. After hearing from both sides for nearly two hours, the judge ruled for the GBRA to turn over those requested documents with the exception of those concerning alleged land deals among board members and discussions with New Braunfels utilities over water sales. The judge said those issues were discussed in depth in the last hearing. Now, the GBRA has 30 days to gather those documents before the plaintiffs can move forward with the depositions. Reporting in Seguin, Vanessa Croy, Kens 5 Eyewitness News.